Hey everyone, welcome to another video and in this one I'm going to show you how to install the DLSS mod for Starfield, particularly the DLSS 2.5 mod. So let's get to the web browser and you need to go to nexusmods.com. I'm going to leave a link in the description for this mod. And what you need to do is go down here, go to files of this and there will be two versions of this mod, the Starfield Upscaler Reshade and the standalone version. What you need to do is if you want a sharpening slider then I recommend you download the reshade version but the problem with the reshade version is that it might conflict with your steam overlay and your steam overlay may not work so in case you want your steam overlay then go for the standalone version which does not come with a sharpening slider so I'm going to show you with this reshade version so just click on manual download and download it up I'm not going to do that I already have the files so you make sure you make an account on Nexus Mods or it probably won't let you download. So once you're done downloading that, go back to the description tab and come down here in the under the installation. It, it says in the step two, install the Upscaler base plugin. You right click that, open a new tab and it should take you to this page, the Upscaler base plugin page. Go to the files tab and download this Upscaler, the latest main file, Upscaler base plugin. Your version might be different depending on when you are seeing this video. So manual download that. I'm not doing that. I already have it. Now go back to the description of this Upscaler base plugin and come down here. You will see DLSS and DLAA, a link to techpowerup.com. And you need to open up that. Now, once you come to this website, don't download the latest NVIDIA DLSS 3.5 version of the DLL. What you need to do is go down here. We are going to install DLSS. 2.5.1 so you're going to download that click download and download that dll okay the reason why i'm saying not to download the 3.5 is because that comes with frame generation and if you're going to use a 30 or a 20 series gpu which most of us have and then it's not going to work on that this only works on the 40 series gpu which have frame generation on them so go ahead if you have a 40 series download there now, once you're done downloading all those files, go to your Steam library, right click on the game, go to manage, go to browse local files, and it should take you to where the game is installed. And you also need to open up the location where you have downloaded all the mods just now. And then you should see the Starfield Upscaler Reshade, whichever you downloaded, the standalone or the Reshade variant. Open that up and you should see all these uh, files and folders. What you're going to need is just copy them up and paste them up here in your Starfield installation directory. And once that's done, then you need to open up this mods folder, go to the Upscaler base plugin folder, and then over here, you open up the Upscaler base plugin, which, which you downloaded from the website, and you, you will find this PDP erf plugin.dll just copy that over to this folder and with that done then the next thing we need to do is the dll which we downloaded that for the dlss 2.5 we need to copy that over as well to the user base plugin folder and once that done and we are all done we are all set to use dlss in our game and keep in mind i installed the reshade version you can also use the standalone version as well you just need to copy all of those in this directory. Now I'm going to show you how to use DLS 3.5 in case you're using an NVIDIA 40 series GPU on your system. So in that case, you need to go to the Upscaler base plugin page on the Nexus Mods page. Go back down to the Tech Power Up link, which has DLSS, DLA, DLL. Open that up and then download the DLSS 3.5 DLL. Once you're done downloading, you should see a zip file which has this nvngxdlss.dll. They are both the same name. Keep in mind, both the DLSS 2.5.1 and 3.5 has the same DLL name. So what you're going to do is go back to your Starfield installation folder, go to the mods folder, go to the upscaler base plugin. And in case you are using DLSS 2.5.1, just delete that from there. Delete that plugin and go to the DLS 3.51 and copy that up and put it there. 
So with that, it's just now you can use DLSS 3.5 and frame generation if you're using 40 series GPU. Don't use 3.5 for NVIDIA 20 series and 30 series GPU in case you're using those. Use the DLSS 2.5 one. Okay, so now we are in game. What you're gonna have to do is press the escape key, go to your game settings, go to display and make sure you have FSR2 selected in the upscaling and also select whatever percentage of render scaling you want the reason why we you see fsr2 he, over here is it's indirectly changing fsr2 it's replacing it with dlss so it, make sure you have that selected and then for around dlss quality settings we don't get any quality balance preset like that all you need to do is just uh, take this slider down or up whatever whatever you want so we're gonna set it to 75 percent we are currently running at 1080p so oh look at that <laughs> what's going what's going on with him crazy okay so you need to press the end key on your keyboard and there it comes as you can see upscaler type dlss and we have it enabled and there's the sharpness filter you have you can use that if you want you don't get that in the standalone version so there is our dlss mod you can close that if you want and there we go we are probably running at dlss quality right now and DLSS is honestly much more smoother and better looking in terms of image quality than FSR2. I'm gonna throw in a side by side comparison. out there a lot right in space so i hope that helped you guys so if you guys really like that make sure you drop a like in the video and if it helped make sure you subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys on the next one until then enjoy starfield